All right, so today we're going to go over how to add objects to your Bitmoji site, both from the internet and from a local file on your computer, how to add links to those objects, and how to update links associated with objects. So first, we're going to start with an object. I have this picture in my recent files of the Batman building. So I have, you see I have my file browser open. I'm just going to drag it over here, and you see that little green plus. Let go. Now you see it's very big. So I'm going to use the corners. You see my cursor turns to this little arrow. But you don't want to use the sides, and you don't want to use the um, the up and down, the top and bottom ones, because it'll, you know, make it look really funny. So I'm going to Command Z to undo all that. I'm going to use this. You can cheat a little bit on it, but you don't want to do it too much. And see, I'd have it placed. And then if I was going to attach a link to this, I would do the next step but I'm not going to attach a link to this one. I'll show you on the next object. So I want to add this Harry the Dinosaur Goes to School cover and I'm going to link it to a YouTube video I have open this tab up here. So I'm going to right click on this image, hit copy image, come over here to my PowerPoint, right click, make sure I don't have any objects selected, hit paste, and I'll scale my object down and say we're going to leave it here. All right, this isn't actually staying on the website. I'm just using this as an example. I'm going to come over here on my YouTube video, highlight this, right click, copy, come back to my classroom, make sure I have this blue box around Harry the Dinosaur, and I'm going to hit Command K on Mac, Control K on Windows, and you see this little dialog box that says Link pops up, and you could click Slides on this presentation, and I could go off a numbered slide or I could use a web URL, so I will right click, paste my link, hit apply, and then I can come into present mode, and if I click on Harry the Dinosaur Goes to School, it's gonna take me to my YouTube video, as you can see. Now, I have an object in this classroom that I need to update, which is this one, this, you see my writing journal goes to my math manipulative room, that's not correct. So I have my link over here for my math manipulative room. I'm going to click on it. A keyboard shortcut is Command A for Mac or Control A for Windows to highlight everything. And then you can use Control C or Command C to copy the link. Come back over to my classroom. And then I'm going to use my Command K. And I'm going to click highlight. And I'll highlight this link. And I can use Command V or Control V. And that will update that link. And then if I come back into present, I click on my writing journal, it's going to take me in a new tab to my writing journal, which is exactly what I want to happen.